Just wanted to make a quick video. I got a Facebook message from someone I don't know asking me a very specific question about a boyfriend or someone she's dating now for about six-ish months who suddenly said he wants her to start going Dutch and splitting bills when they go out. And it was very disturbing to her. Uh, she's like, I don't understand. We both make decent money. Why do I have to start paying? It feels like it's something that he should be paying for. Am I crazy? Am I too old world, old school? They're both in their 40s, 50s, kind of around there. And they both own businesses and are doing okay. They're not multimillionaires by any means, but they're both doing, you know, quite comfortable. Uh, and so the answer to that is if he brought that up early, like the first, second, third, fourth date, I would say maybe that's just the philosophy and he wanted to set the tone. The fact that it's happening six months in is a little strange. So the there's really only a few different possibilities that I can think of as to why this is actually happening. Uh, one is he's under new financial strain and, and he might be too embarrassed to admit it. Men are often kind of ashamed and embarrassed when they have financial pressure. And so if something suddenly came up, um, then he might not cop to it, but might kind of push this as a new thing that he's struggling with. Um, could be that he's been resenting it this whole time and he's just now working the courage to bring it up, in which case, you know, that's going to be an issue and you have to work through what the expectations and roles are in the relationship. And the third kind of situation and probably the most likely, in my opinion, is that he's not getting what he wants out of the relationship and instead of being able to say what it is that he really wants, He's doing this as a kind of way to rationalize that, well, I'm not getting exactly what I want, so maybe I'll just not pay for as much and feel better about the relationship, which is going to backfire 100%. I mean, the idea is, you know, if, if he's not getting enough physically or emotionally or even stimulated mentally out of the relationship, if he feels discarded or dismissed or he's just not getting the kind of commitment or whatever it is that's missing, the best way to, to go about doing that is to talk about it, to say, hey, you know, I've noticed we're not being as physical as we like or I don't get to see you as much or whatever it is. Um, and he's probably just not doing that. He's probably uh, just saying, you know what, I can't get what I want and is kind of reserved to losing uh, you know, it's kind of a weird way to phrase it, but losing the game of the relationship, he just can't get what he wants out of it. So he's like, well, if I pay less, I'll feel better about being in this relationship because it's not giving me everything I want, but I don't want to invest so much into it. And in this case, the investment is literally financial. Um, and what's that gonna, what's that going to do? That's going to create a wedge. It already has. She, she reached out to me because because she feels that it's making them grow distant. Now, I think that if, the, again, if there was a precedent set that like, hey, I think we should split things. And then I'm like, I'd love to buy you gifts, you know, once in a while, if the relationship progresses or take you out on like special occasions, if that's set up as the, the beginning and both of you are okay with it. I mean, I can tell you personally, I've never let a woman pay for anything except my wife because I just think it's weird. But that's me growing up and that's my philosophy. And that's okay. Obviously, it's okay for most women too. I never dated a woman who didn't have a problem with that. I, I have heard that there are. Um, but if that's not his philosophy and he's like, look, look I, I want a partner. That means financially as well. I don't, I don't view myself as the kind of guy that's supposed to spoil the woman and take her out. If that's his philosophy, that's fine as long as it was brought up right at the front. But six months in, something's up most likely. And I think the better way to handle it is to say, look, why now? Why suddenly now? Have, has this been something that you have kind of kept to yourself for a long time? Has this been something that you're growing resentful of me? Because if so, we need to talk about it. Or are there new financial hardships in your life? Because we're not going out and doing extravagant things. So, you know, to spend a hundred bucks on a date or something like that, well, it depends where you are. If you're in Aspen, it's going to be more. If you're in, you know, uh, Boise, Idaho, it's going to be a lot less. But, uh, you know, why, why is it now? What, like, what's going on, right? If there's new financial hardships, if you're resentful, or are you not happy? in the relationship? Is there something missing? Do you feel like we're not going towards being more committed? Do you feel like 
you need to pull back. What is it? And having that hard conversation. And if he says, no, 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 everything's great. I love the relationship. I just think this is the way it should be. Then you have to follow up. You have to say, well, why now though? Why haven't you brought it up earlier? You know, I'll be honest, I want to be treated. I feel like that's the man's role and that's my vision of a relationship. I'm not asking for extravagant things. If there's a financial hardship, I would like to know because I want I want to be compassionate towards it. If you suddenly got hit up by an ex-wife and you're tight on cash, I'll understand. You know, but if it's just I just think we're more platonic and, you know, once in a while we kind of do the thing in the bedroom, that's not the relationship I'm looking for. You have to have these hard conversations to really get at where things are because most people are too embarrassed, they're too ashamed, or they're reticent to say, like, I just can't get what I want. I've tried bringing it up and that's that. And none of those are appropriate. You have to learn to talk through and push through these kinds of hard conversations. My name is Dr. John DeBach. I hope that helped. And I'll see you next time on a quick question and answer. 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 Question and answer.